Grace and peace, y'all. Uh, this is yours truly once again, Bishop Bowser coming at you. Down here in San Diego, they just call me the bishop, but it doesn't matter. You can call me whatever you want to call me, Corn, Cornelius, Bishop Bowser, Pastor Bowser, or so on. Um, I just briefly wanted to speak with you about uh, Anton Daniels and not so much dive into uh, the little um, dispute that is going on between him and Charleston White. But one of the things I want to bring up is that I, when I first saw uh, uh, Anton Daniels, I don't know when it was, maybe a year and a half ago, whenever it was, but the first time I um, uh, saw his show, Charleston White was on there, and I was basically following Charleston White. You know, Charleston White says some things that get you a little upset, stir you the wrong way, and things like that. And I know he said his acting show, uh, but he does say a lot of good things, and, and um, even today, I've, I've seen... Um, that he's done some great things in his community. So that's what's impressed me because I'm also involved in the community and that's what matters about serving people. So you got to appreciate that about Charleston White. But uh, I was watching a show, you know, and, um, you know, Charleston White can really go out there, right? And you expect people who would bring him on their podcast would uh, really take him to bring him to task, right? You know, uh, ask him some hard questions and really dive in and challenge him in some of his things that he was doing. And the first time I saw Charleston White on the Anton Daniels show, um, I thought Anton Daniels gave him a pass. At first, I didn't pay too much attention to the interview as far as Anton Daniels, um, Daniels, have you say his name, um, you know, interviewing him, asking questions and so on and so forth. He was very polite, he was very cordial and things like that. I didn't really pay no attention to all of that. But when I saw Anton Daniels interview somebody else and he dived in and went hard on that person, I kind of like changed my um, view about Anton Daniels. And I was like, you know, he showed favoritism. You know, when he was uh, with Charleston White, he gave him a pass and didn't really ask him a hard question, didn't even dive in on it. But now he's diving in on this guy. That's hypocritical. And then I find out recently, watching uh, some of the videos he made about Charleston White and their disagreement and what some of what Charleston White said, they were buddies. They were in bed with each other. They were friends, right? And nothing wrong with that. And maybe they made that known to people. I just didn't get it. I'm not up on a lot of these uh, things. You know, I don't consider myself a, a YouTuber, even though I'm on YouTube. I'm more so doing this, you know, just to be able to get a message out and be connected to the community, especially with the work that I do in the community, working with gangs and um, uh, this hip hop era and things like that. I just want to be up on things and, you know, get a message out from time to time to the young ones and so on. So that's why I'm on YouTube, not so much to be a YouTuber. If you look, my su subscribers I only have probably 800 something. Um, I, I did at one time want to get to a thousand so I could go live, but I heard now you can go live, but now I'm not really interested in going live unless, you know, there's a reason to do it. But I'm saying that to say that, you know, I'm not here for money. I'm not here to be monetized and all those type of things, you know, um, but I am here to send a, a moral message, right? And the Bible says that we, we, it's a sin for us to show respect a person, right? And, you know, at least the show that I saw, you know, you should uh, always, um, uh, uh, give uh, the people an understanding of the relationship that you have with an individual and what's going on, right? Because otherwise, when I saw it, it looked to me like he was uh, showing favoritism to Charleston White and not really asking him any uh, hard questions. And so, you know, so my message today is, is that let us not show favoritism, right? Or have a respect of person. We love people, we respect people, things like that. But we should be people of principles. We should have enough values within us and principles within us that when we're doing business and when we're out interacting and in relationships, you know, we act on our principles and our values, right? And we don't violate those for nobody, right? Even a friend, we have to hold them accountable. And I just saw that, you know, this was all a fluke with Anton Daniel and Charleston White. I really didn't know all this was going on, but now that it's coming out, it's kind of like, man, shame on y'all, man. You're showing favoritism, Anton Daniels. And that's all I want to say. Don't show favoritism. Be a person of principles, be a person of values and stand on that. Don't violate it. Don't compromise yourself for no one or nothing. All right, God bless you.